Since NBC's broadcast, plaintiff has been suffering severe emotional distress. NBC intentionally inflicted extreme emotional distress on plaintiff by its showing of his crying. <laughs> At least he admits it's a crime. On NBC's Dateline report. One of the many adverse effects from the above scenario is that the plaintiff has become depressed and has developed EDD. The minor female decoy with whom plaintiff chatted was surprised by the police that he was at a vulnerable stage in his life. NBC was also aware of his vulnerability before airing his crime. While chatting with the decoy, plaintiff disclosed to her events and circumstances in his life that occurred within the recent five years. For example, said previous life events led plaintiff to sell his home, then move away from his family and friends where he lived alone with his dog. When the decoy successfully lured plaintiff to the sting house, plaintiff was consciously harassed, which was aired by NBC. What the fuck is he talking about? Plaintiff asserted there is sufficient evidence to support his emotional distress and to have his case brought to trial. In addition to the few previous claims, NBC committed negligence against the plaintiff. Negligence is the failure to exercise a degree of care which a person or ordinary prudence would exercise under the same circumstances. The term refers to conduct which falls below the standard established by law for the protection of others against unreasonable risk of harm. In the intense case, NBC felt their duty to act with due diligence. We did disclose too much of plaintiff's personal information, which has caused them to suffer, suffer, suffer adverse effects. Affects. Considering plaintiff is incarcerated, when prisoners discover his crime, plaintiffs get abused. <laughs> and NBC exercised due diligence and discretion. Plaintiff would not be suffering abuse from other prisoners. <laughs> Oh God, if the people didn't know I was a pedo, they wouldn't beat me. <laughs> <laughs>